What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Super Tank here. And I got an unboxing for y'all today of the LG G2 for Boost Mobile. Um, this is the white model. I also have the black model, which is like a titanium look. Um, so, it's pretty much to get into it. I heard about this phone coming out about, i say, a couple days ago. Didn't know how soon it was going to be. And we finally got it in the store. <clears throat> I've been excited about this because Boost Mobile got the... You know, Galaxy S5 and LG come out with, like, these secondary phones for Boost. But they never come out with, like, one of the main devices, like the G3 or the G2. Um, but finally, they brought out this guy. Um, this is pretty much the box right here. Let me just show you it real quick. The splatter look that it came out last year for the, their, their device, which is cool. We got LG, low hair, life is good. Um, but further ado, let's open up the box. It's pretty much what the box looks like. And I've been excited for it, you know, like I've been hoping that, you know, LG bring out some high-end device like the G3 or the G2 at least. And they did. They bring out the LG G2, which got me excited, man. I'm really, really excited to have this device in our, uh, our company, you know. It's a well-needed device for Boost Mobile. They need a, a, a high-end device. For other companies like LG and not only Samsung. Samsung is like the only one that give us like really high end devices, like the um, the Galaxy S3 and the um, the Galaxy 5, you know, and the iPhones now that Boost has. So now that you know we got LG on board giving us the high end devices, well, as Sprint letting us get them as well, it gets me excited. You know, it's good things to come for a prepaid company like this. Um, so pretty much that's the phone. Um, it comes with the manuals, it comes with manual, the get started guide, information guide, pretty much that, and just the charger block and the syncing cable. That's pretty much it that comes in the box. I don't think I need to see that. I want it to the side, and this is the white one. Um, this has a 5.2... HD display also has a 13 megapixel camera with volume up and down rocker on the back an LED flash Up top it has the IR blaster noise cancellation mic On this side flush with nothing on the bottom just your your speaker grill. Let's hopefully that uh, focuses better uh, It's not focusing guys P apologize for that. This is the um, the Charger port, speaker grills, and uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Um, on this side, just the uh, for this not this, uh, for the SIM card tray. Um, you have 5.2 inch display here. Your front facing camera, your ambient sensors, and uh, LG logo on the bottom. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. For the outside of the device, let's power it on for the first time. But this is the white model, which I actually like a lot. Also, I thought this was metal. I don't think this is metal on the side. But if it is, it's cool. Got a look, nice little metal look onto the side. Also, the phone is really curved. And it fits nice in your hand. Before activation, you can turn Let's see if we can get into the phone. For the first time, and here it is. Pretty much the exact same UI from last year's generation. Uh, didn't uh, update it to the newer look. Um, it kept it very much stock uh, look from last year's. Um, even though this is the last year's model, I, I was expecting it to at least upgrade it to the newer version. Here's the LG G3, just in case we got comparison reasons. Y'all like to see the comparisons of them. They're pretty much almost the exact same size. I'm powering on the uh, LG G3. Pretty much a new device right here. And this is the newer look, which I wish they uh, would have went with. You know, the newer UI. But they didn't. It's alright, though. Hopefully, they give it like an upgrade or something. Or software upgrade that allow it to look like the LG G3. Um, a little bit, which the UI is lighter and flatter. Looking design more like uh, stock Android versus the overlay with, um, you know, the last year's model LG. Bro, 
Like I said, this is a HD display, 13 megapixel camera, pretty much got high end features for only $280, which gets me excited. Please like, rate, and subscribe. Um, this is Super Tank, and I'm out.